Okay, hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a quick video for the uh, fans that I have over on the Nintendo DS scene and the Nintendo scene. So with this video here, today I will be showing you guys how to get your old Game Boy Advance games and um, actually play them on the 3DS. So this will be teaching you how to convert them into CIA files so you can install them on your CFW 3DX, sorry 3DS. And um, yeah, that way it'll be like you have a normal app, it'll just run through the um, the actual virtual console that Nintendo's put on there for you so that you can play the game pretty much like it's emulated on your DS. So um, first thing you're going to want to do is download these two programs. So I'll have a link to both of these in the description. So you go to this one here, click on his um, link, the mega link, it'll open and download. And um, the second one here is this here, so this is going to be used to create the icons and the banner. So download, just click release 7-zip and then um, download them somewhere. So I've got them um, in here, this is my folder with uh, my 3DS stuff. So you're also going to want to get a ROM file, so this is the ROM file that I have that I ripped off my um, Nintendo, D uh, sorry, my GBA card, the actual physical card that I have. You do need a Nintendo DS to rip this. Um, if you want me to teach you how to do that, I can do so. Just let me know and I'll make a new video showing you guys how to do it. Um, I'll probably put a card up here, so just vote yes or no. Um, also, if you want, just mention in the comments letting me know and I'll go ahead from there. Um, yeah, so you need both of those. And... Alright, don't need that not yet alright so what we're gonna do is first we are going to open our banner and icon generator okay so you wanna open simple 3ds GBA banner and icon generator like so should run without any issues Okay, so you need to run it as an administrator or else it won't work. Alright, um, now we're going to go and get our ROM file. So as you can see, it's here. Click and drag it into the simple 3DS. Actually, no, you can't click and drag it. Sorry, my bad, guys. First time using the program. Um, go load ROM and download image. So click that there. And put the directory that you've got your ROM saved in. So I've got it here. I just go Control C, go back in here, open that up, Control V, and it will take me straight to the folder. Click on the game that you've got there, press Open. All right, so it's generated the images for you there. Perfect, all right? So what you're going to want to do is save images, and I'll go to the same folder. So you guys need to actually navigate to this folder. Um, bear with me one moment while I do mine. Okay, images saved successfully. So this I had this uh, program's a bit buggy, but anyways, saved. So let's go look in Emerald. There we go. And close this program. We don't need that anymore. Now we're gonna go. Oops, we're gonna go back. So the next program we need to open will be the Ultimate GBA VC Injector for 3DS version 1.6. So I guess we're just going to open this one up here and this one should work, right? Okay. Make sure you right click and run it as an administrator. Alright, so this is what the program looks like. Now you're going to want to open the GBA file. So again, click this and you should still have it saved to your clipboard. So go control V up here. Pokemon Emerald. Open. And uh, it'll make these settings. Alright, so it's gone and changed the settings for you on its own. Uh, just leave them as it is. And then you're going to want to go next. So here's where you choose the icon, so load image icon, um, go back into your icons folder, emerald or whatever you named yours, and click on this one here, alright. 
There you go. Now you want to go next step, the 3D banner. So go next. And what you're going to want to do is go load in an image. Should be this one here. Change the frame color. You can make whatever you want. I'm just going to make it purple. I don't care. It can stay how it is. Um, and that should be it. I believe let's just double check the icons that we've got see if it's exactly the same if that's what you like yeah it seems the same okay and it's fine Okay, so go next, VC parameters. Just leave that all as it is, unless you know what you're doing. You can try this if you want. As it says, it doesn't work for everything. And go finish. Now you can save your um, Pokemon Emerald.cia file. Save it. If you did Pokemon Emerald or whatever Pokemon you did, or whatever game you did, it gives you an error. Just press continue. And um, seems like that's it there. The CIA file seems to be saved. It's roughly about the same size, plus all the extra stuff you put on there, I guess. Um, I'm probably getting some errors because I don't have the right .NET framework installed for this, so just make sure you've got .NET framework installed. <coughs> As it states here, you should have Microsoft.NET 4.5. I'm not sure if I've got that one. But anyways, that's the that's that for the video. Um, put that on your 3DS. You should know how to install it. If you've ever installed a CIA file before, pretty much the same thing. Install it with FBI or NSA, whichever one is your go-to CIA installer. Um, you also need to copy it, obviously, to the uh, root of your SD card or wherever you have your CIA file saved. Doesn't matter as long as it's on the 3DS. Um, navigate to it, install it with your CIA installer and it should come up as a little present on your home screen open it up and um, okay guys so I actually decided to record how to um, install it this time so I'll oh, just to verify that I'm installing my one as well so if you take a look I've already got one installed if we go down here a version of Pokemon Emerald which is not mine but this one here is Pokemon Emerald as you can see and I will verify with you once I install mine. So you can see here I don't have any other ones installed yet. But um, what we'll do is we'll go and install the one that we just made. So I use FBI. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, copy and pasted the files into my SD card. So if you take a look here. Let's go down to SD. And um, then we'll go into the folder CIA files which is where I put mine. And then we've got this one here Pokemon Emerald so this is the one that we made together on the computer um, whatever yours is if yours was a different ROM it'll be in there too so we're gonna start the installation install CIA press yes and it's just installing give it some time Alright, press any button. Now that should be it. So we'll exit out of FBI. Now I'm not too sure if it's going to let me open it up straight away, but as you can see, um, we've got new software added. Now, yeah, just because I am using um, NTR, I'm not sure if it'll let me open this again, but we'll try it out. If it doesn't, I'll reboot and I'll show you again. So we'll open up the, the gift, and as you can see, that's the one that we made together. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You've got your virtual console there. You can play the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys. Bye-bye.